Hello everybody, today we're working on yet another build that I'm so excited for. I think I did a pretty good job with coming up with these builds, personally. I've been enjoying them a lot and this one is one that I've literally been thinking about since I created the list. So hopefully it turns into a good design, but we're building a fairy house. So it's going to be a little on the smaller side, of course, but it's also going to be sparkling and full of magic. We have a very large palette for today's build. We're going to start off with finishing out some little terraforming in this area using moss. And then the house itself is going to be white and purple. Um, so we'll be using different varieties of quartz and I, I'm thinking of trying to throw some birch wood in there as well for texturing. We'll see how that goes. Um, the roof will use a purple gradient. Um, it might not be exactly, you know, like our gradient over here where we just did, you know, one or two rows of each block to move from one color to the next. I've been watching False Symmetry's Hermitcraft Season 9 and I'm loving like the way she did the gradient on the roof in her mega base and I'm kind of hoping to use similar type techniques. Not necessarily completely scattered and random but also not just lines. And it's so cute! So we set it up with a U shape, um, is the floor plan of this house. And you can see that we really like uh, shaped the roof within that from little towers on the legs of the U to even a little extra bit jutting out over the entryway rather than just sloping right down into it. We've got glow berries and lighting and azalea flowering leaves everywhere. Cute little pond with axolotl friends. And 
And when we come inside, you can see that we've got more of those end broad and glass type lighting. Um, we've got a cute little living room area here with a couch, kind of like the one we put in our cafe, and a coffee table. We've got critters everywhere, all sorts of friends, including, of course, allays. You could never have a fairy house without allays. I laid down pink and purple glazed terracotta as kind of a path between the front and back door, but also just a little bit of visual, a bit of visual variation. We've got a cute little kitchen over in here. In some ways it's kind of minimalist, and in some ways it's a very cute fairy kitchen. We put stairs in this uh, tower on the right side of the house, the, the leg of the U. And upstairs you see the bedroom mostly with books and plants and candles. I would love to live in this bedroom, to be honest. And then when you come out the back door, we've got yet another lovely little garden area. Another little backyard with a custom-made tree and a swing. I uh, lined these two ponds with birch trap doors since they backed up to the house and there's just dirt under there and I think that looks really awesome. Between the detailing on this house and just the actual building, this was actually a lot longer than I thought it would be and a lot more complicated, but I think it turned out awesome. I really like that I used the U-shape on this one because I did want to build something with that U-shape, that kind of classic you shape and I think this house was perfect for it. I would live here. I would love to live in a fairy tale house like this. Hi Mr. Frog. But with that, I think that is it for today's build. Do hit that like button and subscribe if you are enjoying this content and I hope that I will see you for tomorrow's build. Bye.